Hey team, Gary Thomas here from Wiley Sprocket. How would you like to import all of your Amazon Prime transactions for business owners directly into QuickBooks Online seamlessly and efficiently? This has been a nightmare for many businesses over the past few years, and there have been some subtle hacks out there. Um, so if you're doing thousands of dollars a month in Amazon purchases for your business, you have multiple cost centers, multiple shipping addresses, um, this is going to be the video for you. And one of the things that we've had to do in our business over the years is use third-party apps like HubDoc, use apps like Transaction Pro, import the transactions manually. And at the end of the day, the process is very time-consuming and uh, cumbersome. So <clears throat> let's go into it. So typically uh, with your Amazon account, uh, when you go into it, uh, most business owners are going to be able to get their, uh, their accounts by either going to orders or their business analytics page. In this case, I'm logged in to, uh, directly to my Amazon account. But what has happened recently is uh, QuickBooks um, now has the Amazon Business Purchases app. The great thing about this app is it's going to link your Amazon account, your Amazon Prime account directly with QuickBooks Online. So the process is pretty simple. Um, you're going to go ahead and get the app. Um, once the app is installed, what's going to happen is when you go into your QuickBooks account and you go to banking, you're going to have this new uh, uh, app transactions field under your banking. And so from there, Amazon Prime is going to pull in all of your business transactions. And so in this case right here, here's my account. I have all of my business transactions. Um, anything under the American Express card is business. But we also have some personal expenses here, which we can go ahead and just simply exclude. So we're going to go ahead and exclude those. <clears throat> So to use the app, what you're going to do is you're going to go into the banking field. You're going to see two uh, uh, fields here. You're going to have app transactions and your regular banking app. Um, if you haven't already done so, you want to have your Amazon account linked to your QuickBooks uh, account. In this case, we have this uncategorized transaction of 2282. We don't know what that is. So we're going to go into the app transactions and all you have to do is add the transactions. So we're gonna go here, uh, we're gonna go and we will find that transactions, 2282. And we can see here that, uh, I think that's it right there. Whoops, I'm gonna click on, yep, 2282, whoops. And 2282 is actually an owner's discretionary spending 3547 and we're going to put the appropriate class. If you need to change the class, these are all the different cost centers that we use and we simply add that transaction to QuickBooks. The expense will go away and when we go back into our QuickBooks file, if we go into banking, And there it is right there. So it's already uh, recognized. It's what we call matched. And we're just going to go ahead to and match it up. And there you go. It's that simple. So um, again, uh, you go to app transactions. And then we're going to go to this guy right here. We'll go to the next one, 2296. Here's another one. We'll do this one for our store. It's a bulk supplement, soy protein, it already recognizes it. The only thing I don't know is I don't know what cost center this goes to, so I'm gonna go ahead here and, so when we copy and paste that URL into the browser, what's gonna happen is we can see that that is for Carson City. So I'm gonna go ahead here and add that to Carson City. We'll go ahead and add it. We can just go ahead and add all of these if we want to. When we go to bank transactions and we refresh the page,
and there we go. Just match it up. So anyway, uh, hope this helps. If you have any questions, uh, comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. And there's some links uh, in the uh, comments below where you can, or the bio below where you can uh, get some uh, updates and other features. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you.